That's me and Eric riding scooters in Puerto Rico. And uh, this is me falling. Funny thing is, we weren't even supposed to be in Puerto Rico, but I can explain that. You see, the original plan was to cross off bucket list number 230, and bucket list number 230 was to fly to this little island called St. Martin. It's pretty f***ing crazy, right? Well, that is what some people consider the world's most dangerous airport. And it's basically the only real reason I wanted to go to St. Martin. Tickets to St. Martin weren't cheap. They were starting to peak around the 500 range. So I thought I came up with a crafty idea. There's an island just north of St. Martin called Anguilla, and flights there were super cheap. So what we could do is we fly there, then just take a ferry ride over and save some serious dough. I thought it was a sweet idea. I was feeling pretty smart. So we went ahead and bought the plane tickets. It is important to note that we were only going to be there for a day, get there at 2 a.m. and leave the next day at 2 a.m. I don't know. We thought it would be a fun way to spend the weekend. The other thing that is important to note is about two days before we left, I found just a eh, slight little mistake with our plan. But no, it doesn't matter because we can't go to St. Martin anymore. Like, we're not going to St. Martin. Going. Go to Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to go to Anguilla. Yeah. We were supposed to go to Anguilla, mm -hmm. um, but we bought tickets for Aguadilla. Which is over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but I mixed up Anguilla with Aguadilla. And if you look on the map, Aguadilla is in Puerto Rico and nowhere near St. Martin. I guess you could say I made a very crucial mistake. Our entire plan got scrapped, but me and Eric really just wanted to travel somewhere new. So we just said, F it. Let's go to Puerto Rico. Eric and I rented a car, and since it was 2 a.m., we slept in the car at a shitty Burger King parking lot, the type of shitty Burger King where the urinal doesn't even work. And they have security cars driving around all night. He's walking right by our car! Get out of here! Get out of here! said this was a normal thing. Through the very little research we had time for, I found an island called Vieques, all the way on the other side of Puerto Rico, that apparently has some of the nicest beaches in the world, according to Google. So the plan was to hang out there. Yeah, turn it up. We started working our way across the island, then made a quick stop at Cueva del Indio. Then drove the rest of the way across the island to Fajardo, where we caught a ferry over to Vieques. Now when we got off the ferry, a guy was handing out flyers for scooter rentals, and it was only a few blocks away, and we thought, hey, scooters would be pretty dope. cruising around exploring the island, mainly just having no clue where we were going. Now I've been to Canada, but this was kind of like my first real time outside the country, even though Puerto Rico is a US commonwealth, and you don't really even need a, need a passport, so still. But then after a fun day of beaches and riding around Puerto Rico, I went ahead and took what was considered a great day, and sh** all over it. I just took a little spill. It's deep. Your it knee. Deep. Your knee looks worse. Alright, let me try and get up. I'm fine. 
Oh! So we drove back to the scooter rental place and paid the guy for the scooter damage. Then we raced to the docks, caught the last ferry, drove across the whole main island back to the airport, and waited until 3 a.m. for the flight back to Florida. Then we got to Florida and we found out our flight got delayed 10 hours. So we found a different flight to Charlotte, then flew back to Chicago from Charlotte. And this whole time I hadn't had my foot looked at, my arm wouldn't stop bleeding. So it was a little chaotic, but eventually we made it home. Now for the next few weeks, I'm just gonna hop around the house, ice the shit out of my foot, and hopefully, you know, use this time to brush up on the old reading skills. Oh, and I'm the type of guy who will never settle down. Where pretty girls are, well, you know that I'm around. I kiss them and I love them, cause to me they're all the same. I hug them and I squeeze them, they don't even know my name. Like, car that just says security, and he's circling. Oh, the only car is left. <laughs> he's just circling right now, dude. Oh man, maybe in Puerto Rico it's frowned upon. That doesn't matter what were they gonna do, just tell us to leave. So yeah. we just gotta hide it out, dude. He's coming for us. He's doing 